guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name is Miranda and today we're doing an everyday makeup routine this is what I've been doing every day um, very for a while now um, it's been a while since I've done an everyday routine but I show every single step from nothing to all this so yeah I will have a list of other products in the description so if you want to see how I do this look, then just keep watching. Alright besties, I'm using my camera's auto, auto setting, so I'm hoping that the color will be better. I have hated editing because the color is just like not right. <laughs> so I'm just putting it on auto and letting it do the work. But I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup routine. First things first, I'm going to shave my eyebrows. I don't know if you guys can tell, but we got some little, some little baby hairs. And I'm not trying to grow them back yet. I will say though, if you've ever thought about shaving your eyebrows, they grow back very quickly. <laughs> like, Within a few days, they start to come back. So, first things first, I'm using the Milk Makeup. Let me move. Every, I don't know if anyone else is like this. Every single time I do my makeup, I knock something off of my desk. Every day. We'll see if it happens today. But every time I sit here, I knock something over, without a doubt. But this is the Milk Makeup sunshine skin tint i love this stuff um it's got sunscreen in it it's spf 30 and it's just like a little roller bowl but i love this stuff it's super lightweight um it was really great for the winter because my skin gets super dry and needed assistance so just put that on wherever and then I'm using the milk makeup Sephora collab brush I don't think they make these anymore but this is just like a foundation brush I mean you can use anything but you know it's light coverage it just kind of evens out um the redness that I have you know, I think it's, what, hyperpigmentation? I think that's the word for it. But, you know, I have acne scars and all that jazz. And it just kind of evens it out. I don't mind, you know, when I was younger, um, I used to really care about, like, full coverage. And now I don't mind having, like, my real skin you can still see pretty much every blemish I've ever had and that's fine next I'm using the ColourPop pretty fresh concealer I have the shade fair 20n did I say what color I had in this also this is like re refillable um the color inside can be like taken out so the actual like compact you keep but you just replace the actual product uh, I don't know what color this is. Whatever one of the lightest colors is. It's not that full coverage, so I don't think it would matter if you were like a shade off. Yeah, I like it. But for the ColourPop concealer, I use this and I also use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. That concealer has a chokehold on my life. I kind of switch between the two, but I'm trying to find like. Uh, cruelty free options and this is a really good cruelty free option because Maybelline obviously isn't but that's the only product I use that still tests on animals I'm pretty sure everything else I have I've been able to find a replacement that fits my skin but yeah I like the ColourPop one I think it's really nice. It brightens up under my eyes 
and it provides good coverage in the places that I need it. Next, contour. I've been using the same contour palette for so long now. It's the e.l.f. cream one. I'm just using like a very flat We'll see if this will focus. A very flat brush. And for my contour, I kind of try to draw the lines, like, to a point, almost. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't think I have a contour video on here. I made one for TikTok, and I made one for Instagram. But... And then I just draw a little line across. I'll draw a line underneath. And then I connect them. Just like that. And I'm just using a different brush, a little fluffy one, to lightly blend. Pretty good. Now going in with the House Labs Heat Spell Bronzer and Highlighter Duo. This is rubbed off, so I don't even know what color I have. It's just like a super light. I mean, you can use an eyeshadow, any bronzer really. Um, I'm using the same brush. And this just kind of adds a little more definition. I use this very lightly um, just to emphasize like the line across and underneath. And just very slightly upwards. And a lot of people say like, oh, your, your contour needs to be blended completely. Like, you're not supposed to see a line. But like, if I blend it completely, then like, you, it looks like nothing happened. <laughs> so, I don't mind that it's a little more drastic. And with blush and everything, it'll, you know, it, it, it gets better. Just, 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 just hold on a sec. Next, I switch between loose powders. I remember when I was younger, I used to never love a loose powder because they were always like so dry on my skin. But I just hadn't found the right one. And I've liked a few. Um, where is... Oh. I have the Urban Decay uh, brush, brush Set and Go Off. I don't know if that's what it's called. It's also like rubbed off. And the Milk Makeup Translucent Powder. I also like ColourPops. Um, I have an extra in my drawer just because it's just a backup like I got it in PR um, and I really like that one but I also got milks in PR and I got Urban Decay's in PR so as far as I'm concerned I've got loose powder at the ass for the rest of <laughs> eternity not really but you know what I mean and oh I'm using the milk makeup Sephora this is actually a highlighter brush I love it for loose powder because I don't set my whole face. I really just set under my eyes, like my T-zone, and under my eyes. And it's just such a nice powder. It mattifies. Um, it's not dry. It doesn't make my skin look weird. <laughs> so, all around, very good. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to do it in this video because I'm afraid of it turning out not good. If you haven't seen the Root Touch Up Freckle, like, tutorial, the shit is crazy for making fake freckles. I'm not going to do that today. <laughs> what I do is I have... This is IT Cosmetics. This is the, the 130. Super duper tiny. And I just have um, a Makeup Revolution highlighter and bronzer palette. I'm using this brown color. But I use setting spray. Fun fact, I'm sure most people know this at this point, but if you use water or a setting spray, I use setting spray because I keep it on my desk. And you spray an eyeshadow or any powder, really, it turns into like a liquid paste. So you can turn like any eyeshadow into eyeliner if you really wanted to. And I just make my little freckles. Next is blush. I'm using the Real Techniques contour brush. I don't know if they still make these. <laughs> you know, it's ah. The thing about getting PR is like 
I can't remember the last time I bought something. Actually, I did just recently place an order on ColourPop for a new star stamp. Milk doesn't make them anymore. And I think I bought a blush. I bought one of the Hello Kitty blushes. But this is what reminded me of it. I'm using the ColourPop blush um, called Kitsch. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that. But I really like ColourPop's blushes. I don't like their pressed ones, like their circle ones, like their cream. I don't like those. I like the pressed powder. Like, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I mean. But, yeah. Yeah, so I did order a new, a new star stamp. I've been using eyeliner, but God, I hate doing it. <laughs> You'll see, because I'm going to do it later. But, I did order a new But Milk stopped making them! I'm so sad. They were the OGs. I used theirs to fill in the eyeliner. Also, I've been putting blush, like, underneath my chin. Like, on my chin. I think it's so cute. I don't know why. That's, like, a new thing. <laughs> a more recent thing I've been doing. And I do just put it on the tip of my nose because we've been doing that for... Almost a decade? I don't know how I feel about that. But we stay. We stay doing that. And I'm going to go back into my contour, just like the powder. Just to re-emphasize the line because blush kind of covers it. Not too much, but I do just want to have the contour still be there. <laughs> then, I'm sorry I don't know what brush this is. It came out of a Ulta like little gift set that I got for Christmas. I'm using the Soul and like soul body which this is by like color pop is this is like a sister brand i guess but this is a highlighter in the color pink truffle mine is absolutely shattered so i can't show you like up close but i just put that on the tip of my nose and on like the bridge and that's it for that now if we're going to be tried and true to like an everyday makeup, I'm going to take, did you guys hear that Morphe is in an action class, is that class action, a class action lawsuit, but I'm using the Morphe M441. I love their blending brushes. Like this is a really good brush. I have multiple of the same one. Um, yeah, they're, they're getting sued. So that's not cool. Um, <laughs> I'm going to use the Sephora Single Shadow in the shade Morning Sunrise. This is like one of my favorite eyeshadows. Um, Sephora, please never stop making this. I think it's very similar to Urban Decay's... Ugh, oh, I can't think of what the name of the eyeshadow is, but it's the one that Gerard Way uses. Gash? Is that the color? Is it called Gash? I don't, mmm, it's something similar if it's not that. And then just blending this out. Super messy. It's really not <laughs> too crazy. Now it's time for eyeliner. My favorite part. And my favorite eyeliner that I swear by is the House Labs um, liquid eyeliner. This is in the shade Punk, which is the black one. Perfect. I love her. She supports me. I've been using this for over a year now at this point, and it's the only one I've used in like the past year or so. But I love it. It's very good. And recently I've been drawing like a more straight liner. It's not like I used to do it so upright at an angle. I don't do that anymore. I draw it like out and like straight. It's almost like puppy liner. But it's not like down. Sometimes it is, but most of the time it's not. And I do draw it like over and out. I guess it is kind of like puppy liner just because like the, the top part angles down. But I don't know. 
so kind of like that and then I do draw a line kind of connecting it to my lower lash line all right that's that <laughs> then to fill in like the bottom I'm just going to use a black pencil liner And then to fill in the rest, I do just use my e.l.f. liquid liner. That way I'm not wasting, like, my felt tips. I'm using the e.l.f. liner to make little dots. Then for mascara, I'm just using the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. Okay, then while I wait for that to dry a little bit, again, using the e.l.f. liner, I take my Milk Stamp and just fill it in. Just like that. They're a little off center, but that's okay. Okay, then what I've been doing more recently, I still have like really big, <laughs> like normal lashes. But I've actually been taking like a little half lash, which I've seen Ash Levi do. Um, and sometimes I do brown eyeliner instead of black. But I do black more often, which is why I did it in this video. I just do a little half lash on the outer corner. Which, like, never in my life, <laughs> at least not recently, what I've thought that I would like how I look without a big lash. And, you know... I think the liner helps me not care because like I've also just like done this as a look and not worn lashes at all and I like it so and I think I like it with the no brows because it's kind of weird it's kind of funky but yeah these lashes were originally from the bold the bold lash makeup is that the brand I think that's the company but they were lashes that in my opinion were too small so I now use them as a half and it doesn't make that big of a difference when I have the big liner but it's just a little a little something and then for lips my favorite pencil is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Ashton. And I just overline my top lip. I don't touch the bottom. My cupid's bow is just way too pointy from my liking. I know a lot of people like it, I don't. So I round it out. And then just use my finger to kind of pull down the color. And that's it. Most of the time, I just leave it like that. And then that's really it. Like this is typically like my everyday makeup routine updated. It's super easy to do. You could always leave out certain parts of it if you wanted. But I think it's super cute. Very like fresh it's not too heavy in my opinion despite having like big liner but like 
that to me is like my norm. Yeah, I like it. But already, this is the final look. Sorry if you can hear noise in the background. But if you like it, let me know. Hope you guys like it. I think it's super cute. But yeah, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys lots. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!